All right, hello everybody. It's Daniel, aka D Fish Not Fisher, and today I'm gonna show a new. It's not, I don't know if it's a mod or what, but it's a way to have multiple jar files for your Minecraft. Now, as you can see in my top right, I have two right now. I haven't gotten too far into it, but I know that you can have an unlimited amount. You can play different versions. Like you can use it to have different versions of Minecraft and play them just by clicking on a, a, a shortcut like I do. Or you can have a modded version and a regular version, or you can have, um, you know, one with the Yog box and one with the Technic pack, you know, like stuff like that that you know the the Yogs cast does. So you can have multiple jar files with this pro uh, this program. It's called Portacraft. So basically, um, all you have to do is click on the link in the description. Sorry about that. And you uh, download the file, and once you download the file, get it somewhere where you can where you can find it, and where is it where's mine uh, inside of it you should extract it and then inside of it there's this portacraft launcher now all you need to do is make a folder right new folder and we'll say test run right and basically you just take your portacraft launcher and you copy it into there all right, and then you have to get a Minecraft launcher, which you can download from the website, Minecraft. I'll show you now, Minecraft.net, Minecraft.net. Oh, sorry, Minecraft.net. Then you go to Downloads, then you download the .exe, and place it in the same folder as the uh, Portacraft launcher. Now once you have that done, basically all you have to do is run Portacraft launcher and it's gonna basically run like regular Minecraft and it's gonna give you a data folder, it's gonna give you um, it's gonna be like a clean, sorry about that, a clean Minecraft. Well, no, 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 it's not even my uh, So you're going to log into your Minecraft and it's going to download and give you a completely new jar. So basically now if you click on the Portacraft launcher inside that folder it's going to run the info from that folder. You understand? The Instead of it running from your .minecraft it's going to run from the folder in the folder that you just made. So this is going to run, um, this right here is going to run this right here. So Let's say you wanted to run like a 1.7 uh, file, right? So I have one saved somewhere, 1.7.3. It's an old world of mine. Um, I think it's over here. No, that's a save. I think it's over here. It should be, I think it's this one. So you just copy all this right here and put it into here. And then, uh, la, 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 la. yeah, okay, I think this is the one. So now you go to your test run or your, your main folder. You right click the portal launcher and then you uh, create a shortcut. Rename the shortcut, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to rename mine 1.7.3, right? Put that on your desktop. You click on that. This is going to pop up click run or whatever comes up and just keep going like it's regular minecraft and uh, I just want to give you a visual example because mine should uh, be 1.7.3 when I get in no not now see how it asked me to update is because I'm running 1.7.3 na 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 minecraft beta so 1.7 that works um, you know you can do that with any dot jar that you want to use um, you know separately from your other dot jars you can have multiple dot jars infinitely as long as you have memory and you'll be able to run them simply by clicking on a shortcut on your desktop in the most organized fashion you can without having to switch them uh, manually every single time so anyways if this was helpful please uh, leave a like if you have a question or, or you know uh, this was helpful either you could just leave a comment telling me that it was helpful um, subscribe if you haven't already 
share if uh, you have anybody that you think would be interested. Um, check out my channel if you're interested in Let's Plays and other mod showcases. And um, thanks for watching. This is Daniel, aka D Fish Not Fishing. I'll see you next time. Peace.